Hey you, hey you guys, I'm gonna show you how to do long division. But first order of business is, what does this sign mean? Well, it's a division sign. Now, that's pr now, now I can pretty much respect that. Here. So, so division is, div is sharing a product into equal groups. Now I can respect that. So, that's why I'm here to show you something different that I've learned in my class that is going to blow your minds. Okay, now you guys are gonna, probably thinking that, you know, Oh man, I already know how to do this. You're wrong. Unless if you either know, how, if you come from England, if you know, and you know this. So, here, let's start, let's start this off. Four, five, six, nine. Now, I know 11 is a pretty easy number to use, but oh well. So the first order of business is, how many times can 11 go into 4? Well, it can't. That's why we put a 0 up there. A 0. Freaky 0. zero. So this is what's going to freak, freak you guys out. How many times can four, 11 go into 50, 45? That's simple. 4 with the remainder of 1. So possibly you guys are asking yourself, where do I put the... One simple right here. So now that number is 16. So how many times can uh, 16 go in 11 and go into 16? Well, once with the remainder of 5. So how many times can 11 go into 59? Okay, that's a little, that's gonna be a little crazy. I'm getting no. 5 with the remainder of 4. And since we don't need that zero, you know, pretend that never exists. And plus, if you're going to show this to your teacher, I honestly believe that you uh, shouldn't, show, shouldn't show that zero to them. Unless if, you, you know, you're trying to show them. Okay, thanks for watching this.